When it comes to measuring the motor internal resistance or, or so-called winding resistance, you might think that you can just take a multimeter, hook it up to two of the connectors, and just take a reading of resistance. That's what multimeters are for, you know, one of the things that they do. The problem is that the motors have very low internal resistance. They have high quality copper wire in, in there and the wire is really not that long. And most multimeters, they, their accuracy is just not very good. My high-end multimeter actually has really good accuracy, but you run into all sorts of problems because you very easily end up measuring the resistance of the wires on the multimeter in addition to the resistance in the motor. So it's really tricky to do and it's not a good way of doing it. So a, a much better way to do it is to use a so-called Ohm's law, which is if you take a circuit and you take the voltage divided by the current, you get the, the resistance in the circuit. So, so what you need to do is that you take a power source and hook it up directly to the motor. I'm not, there's no speed control. And, and measure the voltage and the current, and that's a much more accurate way of measuring the resistance. The problem is that if you do that, you're going to burn up the motor because the, the windings, the, the wire in there is, is pretty thin and you take a power source, it's, you're just going to blow it out. So there's another complication. What you need to do is to hook up a power resistor in series with the motor. And these are two power resistors that I have. Each one is about 8 ohms and 25 watts. So they're hooked up together, so you get about 4 ohms and 50 watts, which is pretty good. And, and if you saw my video on measuring internal resistance on a battery, this is perfect for like a three cell battery pack. So you may want to get one in, get a couple of these anyway. Uh, I think I paid about four bucks for both of them. Radio Shack sells them, there's some other sources. Um, one caveat is that even, uh, you know, they, they're rated for 50 watts, but what that, that 50 watts, what it means is that if you go beyond that, that you're going to permanently damage the resistors. I, I know for, with a 3 cell battery pack, I normally only go up to 40. So that's well within the safe range for, for the resistors. But they get really hot. So just be careful. You know, you don't want to be touching them while you're using it. And, and you know, you don't want to be leaving it hooked up for, for a real long, long period because they, they dissipate a lot of heat. So, so that's a caveat with them. But, other, but then, you know, once you have the pieces in place, it's, it's not hard to do. Uh, again, you can try and use a watt meter to measure this. Some watt meters may give you a hard time because it's kind of an unusual configuration and they may not be happy, but you know, they, most of them should work. I like to use my two multimeters, one for voltage, one for current. So I hook up, I hook up my, my power resistors in series with the winding. Uh, I have to hook up my power source as input. Then, you know, one, one multimeter is measuring voltage, the other one is, is also in series with the circuit to measure the current. Wait a little bit to get a steady state, and then write down the values, and then you divide, if you take the voltage, you divide it by the current, you get the resistance in ohms, and that will be the, the reading. Um, motors ha have actually three windings, through three uh, wire loops through them. So if, if, you, if you measure one and then measure another one, you'll get a little, little bit of a different value. If you're really paranoid about this, I will measure all three and then take the average. I'm not sure you have to do that. I know they'll all be pretty close anyway, but that's just one thing to watch out for. But otherwise, this is a really accurate way of measuring the internal resistance. Uh, there's another method which I'll talk to about later, but this is about as good as it gets, I think, as far as getting a reading from a, uh, from a motor of, of the... Uh, of the RM value and until uh, next time.